Hey everyone, my name is Pablo, and welcome to another, to another episode of Let's Talk Pokemon. Now, I actually have received some Pokemon news from the Koro Koro scans of what's going on X and Y. And some of this stuff is kind of interesting. Well, a little bit of it, I actually liked. Some of it, eh, you know, some of the stuff, and eh, they're okay, like, like, it, it's new, so I'm not going to be too harsh of a comment on it. Normally, I warm up to Pokemon, like, a little bit more once I see them battle on the show. Like, for example, I wasn't 100% sure that I would like Snivy. But once I saw him, like, battle against Pikachu, he was, like, so far, my, like, he beated me at liking Tepig and Oshawa. Wasn't much of a contest either, seriously. Have you seen those guys? But, yeah, anyway, I warm up to them when I see him battle, so... Yeah, let's get started on what news there is on the Pokemon Koro Koro scans. Okay, so Pokemon X and Y have released some new information that has been leaked from their Koro Koro scans, in which two new Pokemon have been introduced so far. Yeah, I'm not going to say their names because I don't remember any of If I do, they're in Japanese, and I just do not know that language very well. So, yeah, they're basically just jellyfish Pokemon, you know, like, they're dark and, like, water and dark, I believe it is, or psychic and dark, which they're jellyfish. I like the first one, the pre-evolution, but the second one kind of creeps me out, if I had to choose. But since they evolve, yeah, I'm going to get the results anyway. Okay, let's move on. Okay, these next two Pokemon are fairy Pokemon. The one of them, as you can see, the one with the tongue sticking out, is Con Candy. Once again, we have food Pokemon. It r really, the vanilla evolution was like so good that they made more food Pokemon. Is that what's going on? Oh, well, then again, we do have Cherim. Like, are people getting hungry in these meetings? That's why they just, like, you know. Because, like, when I had art in school, like, it was always before lunch, so I would just get hungry and, like, do a whole bunch of. Like, just draw pictures of food because I was so hungry. Is that, is that what's going on here? Is that what's going on? If my voice seems a little weird, it's because, um, yeah, I got allergies. So, or I just might be sick. But. That's not stopping me, because as you can see, I'm still doing this video. Okay, the other one, that one looks like a bird. I thought it, it was a bird, but no, apparently it's perfume. It's a fairy type, which is a perfume bottle. And basically, that's it. Another inanimate object that people are not going to like, I guess. And honestly, it sounds like... They're trying too hard to get girls to like Pokemon. That's what I feel like this Pokemon is. They're just trying way too hard. Yeah, sorry people, allergies if you're hearing me like all nasally and sniffing a lot. So, yeah. Oh, and there's a new fairy type move, I guess, that prevents you from falling asleep. So, I guess that's useful. That's going to be really annoying, though, if you're trying to catch a Pokemon, though. Okay, moving on. Okay, so... Yeah, do, yeah like... Xerneas and Yveltal. Yeah, I know that's not the best picture, but I just wanted to show you guys the 3DS um, artwork that they're putting in, which is only in Japan. Like, I want that. It looks so cool. Why can't... Why can't they give this to us? Seriously, why does Japan get all the cool stuff? You, you know, I, I knew this would happen. Like they said, the Pokemon X and Y would come worldwide, but I knew that they were gonna have s that some cool stuff of Pokemon X and Y is gonna come in Japan before everywhere else. I knew that was gonna happen. Honestly, I thought it would be event Pokemon, but you know, I was close enough, and I was right. But anyway, Xerneas, the deer, is apparently pure fairy type 
any belt hall is flying in dark as some people have predicted I believe because um, Xerneas is supposed to represent life you know like he, close people were close people said light turns out it's life not light you know he's supposed to represent the birth of things happening while the Velta is one of a destroyer kind of like death but since people don't want to push death into things they put destroyer in which they both know an aura like attack it has to move aura in it and then um, I believe Yveltal can learn Deathwing or something like that. And, yeah, I, I forgot what Xerneas can evolve. Now, this awesome Pokemon next to them is the evolved form of Panchan, which is a fighting and dark type, which I've actually, like, I, I actually had a prediction about that. I was like, oh, if they, if they ever, like, remake a panda Pokemon, I feel like it should be dark and something else. And people are like dark and fire. I'm like nah, nah, nah. Like what about dark and normal? Since normal is a, is like color white and like dark is color black. That way it actually represents the panda. But I was half right on this. I guess I was half right. And it looks very badass. Actually, people were were hoping that its leaf would turn into a bamboo stick that he would use for self defense, kind of like Farfetch. But no, it just grew a little bit. And it's still in its mouth. Still looks epic. Still want to catch it. Gotta catch them all. Let's go. Okay, so, and for our last slide, yeah, I, I know I'm a little bit late, but um, in the bottom corner, like, it shows the two gym leaders that were announced, like, a while ago. I know I'm a little late on that, but one of them's a bug type, or sisters. Uh, I believe one's gonna appear on the anime in the future. Um, yeah, they're. The other one on the other corner is, yeah, the guy in the lab coat, obviously, he's the professor. He's, I, I don't remember, yeah, once again, these guys are all in Japanese, so I don't know their names, and, like, I, in the future, I might edit it and put, like, English names, but, yeah, basically, once again, he's named after a tree, of course, and the weird blondie with the... A palm hand sticking out of his backpack. Yeah, he's another gym leader. I'm assuming he's at an electric type still, like an electric type gym leader, due to electronics or a steel type, since you know robots. And if they are allowed to use Pokemon from past generations, I'm assuming he's going to use Magnemite and his evolutions. If they are, if they are allowed to use Pokemon from past like generations. You know, that's just my guess, and yeah, that's all that was covered so far. Yeah, like in the little Koro Koro scans. That's all I remember. So yeah. Okay, so there you have people. Those are the new Pokemon Koro Koro scans that we have for today, or whatever this video was uploaded. Now, if you want to check out some other Pokemon X and Y news that I have done before, um. Yeah, I have a channel icon up here that I should have, so you can check it out. Um, I always put like what website on YouTube my channel is on, so there's always that. So yeah, basically, you know, you know. Ho hope you liked it. I'm sorry if I spoiled anything for you guys. So can't wait for you know Pokemon X and Y. After all of that, I'm I still want to get the game. It just, the graphics just look that good. A lot of the Pokemon look really cool. I would love to catch them. Still looking forward to Hone Edge, the sword one. So yeah, click like and subscribe. You know, tell your friends about my channel, you know. Spread the word, people, you know. And, you know, I hope I've answered some of your questions about Pokemon X and Y, you know. We know a little bit more information now. So... Bye.